Hello YouTubers, Mankiller from my rich Joe Gamers. And um, today I'm playing some Neverwinter. So um, this vi video will be um, the first video in uh, my Neverwinter Let's Play. And uh, the reason why I've decided to make a Let's Play of Neverwinter is first of all I like the game. Um, but also because my friend, um, that unfun guy, uh, wanted to do like a let's play and I thought why not join him why not create a character and uh, level up and uh, join him yeah so I'm going to create a new character he's on the dragon server dragon shard I don't know shard yeah okay cool um, uh, well maybe I should just shut up and uh, let you guys see this it's actually a pretty awesome cinematic <coughs> okay, so we're back. Um, pretty awesome cinematic, uh, showing off what I believe is Protector's Enclave, the main city of the game, and also like uh, a lot of the different uh, races and classes. So I'm going to be a rogue, 
I'm gonna pick a rope. Um, and I think I'm just going to go with the halfling. Kind of like the obvious choice. Um, and as that unfun guy is playing as, uh, as a male, maybe I should pick a female. No, I think I'm going to go with a female. I can't decide. Maybe like... Maybe I should go with the female elf. I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I want to do a pretty rope. Fuck you, guardian fighter. Um, well, this is not that great. We roll. Still not that great. Um, uh, better. I think I'm going to go with this. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's see appearance presets. Which one should I pick? I'm not gonna go too much into customization, so I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, customize head shape. Let's go with um, a pot hair. Uh, well, let's just go with this one. Um, dur 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 herd. Herd elf right. Her right eye is fucked. Eyebrows, natural, sure. Complexion, young, why not? Tattoos, well, maybe like this one looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, you can also, like, pick ridiculous big tattoos. Completely, um, completely disguising or filling out her face, but I'm gonna go with M Emanator. Right, okay. Scars, none, face game, uh, body shape, slim, sure. Okay, continue. Um, well, this is more if you like, if you're really interested in the lore and the story of the game, but I think I'll just go with Shadow R Elite. And why not emunate emanator? Yeah, cool. Okay, so we're ready to start. Um, I think I'll use like my new uh, alias, my new uh, gamer tag, uh, and that is Jitter Eye. Jitter Eye, like that. So, um, from now on, I'm probably going to refer to myself as Jitterai rather than man Mankiller. I might do like a commentary at some point why I picked Mankiller back in the days and um, why I've decided to, to, to change it now. But uh, I'm just gonna begin the adventure. Sure. Level 1. Let's go. So um, the loading times can be kinda long, but uh, it's not too bad. I think I'll just skip like these in-game small cuts and cinematics, because they're like not that important, in my hey, opinion at least. You right? He said that without moving his fucking lips, that's kind of really... Okay, yeah, I know. Who's that? Another player. Skamas Babausong. Okay, I will. Thank the gods! When I saw the Dracolich attack the ship, I was afraid there would be no survivors. What brings you to Neverwinter in such troubled times? That is my business. Sorry, didn't mean to pry. Oh no, thanks. It's just now is not cool. Let's move on. I'm gonna run through this kind of quick, um, because this is just like a tutorial and stuff like that, and uh, not that important. So. Uh, okay, getting some clothes, getting a blunted dirk, and another one. Okay, so press I'm gonna press I to go to my inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna equip it. And uh, I can press like, press I think it's C. Yeah, I moves. can see my character, what I'm using, my armor, main hand, offhand. Quest tracker, 
history, like the lore and stuff. I have my powers. Um, that's like uh, that. That starts getting interesting when I uh, I get uh, to a higher level. Uh, feats, same boons. I am not sure what that is. And companions. When well, I get a companion. Okay. So um, yeah, running, jumping, dodging. By by double tapping uh, one of the directional keys uh, like W or A or S or T, um, you make like a dodge in uh, in the in the direction of the arrow or of the key. So I'm gonna talk with Lieutenant Linkletter. Yeah. Good to meet you. Science of life complete. Complete quest. Battlefield triage. Except okay, let's move on. So um, yeah, it's uh, it's a pretty awesome game. It's free to play, so you can go get it yourself. It uh, doesn't cost anything. You just have to like make a profile, make an account, and that's all. Uh, they update it quite a lot, so there's a lot of bug fixes, and it's generally pr pretty entertaining. Um, but I haven't been pr playing it like for well months. Um, that's pretty much because, yeah, well, I haven't had time, I've been playing a lot of other stuff, so, okay, so I need to resurrect these, um, wounded soldiers, oh my god, come on, and all the actions, like, interact, that's all by, uh, pressing F, and these enemies doesn't pose much threat. I mean, they don't even attack when I hit them. Um, okay, go to Del McCord's camp. Okay, sure. So, if you want, like, a bit more in-depth um, walkthrough or, yeah, walkthrough of the head-up display of all the things, uh, like your attacks and stuff, uh, you should definitely go check out uh, that Unpun guy's um, first episode of this because he's a bit more like he goes through all of this a with a bit more detail. Um, I'm not gonna speak with you. You're not a quest giver. Just gonna pick up some arrows. Uh, where are those? Right there. Protected by skeletons, cool. which do not attack me. Uh, not now they actually attack when I hit them, but I just destroy them so they don't pose much threat. Arrows, thank you. Loot. So she closes the lid of the treasure chest when she's looking inside of it. Hmm, interesting. Oh my god, I'm failing so hard right now. Just gonna press F to take it all. Thank you. Gold, 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 lots of gold. Okay, so I just unlocked um, my secondary attack on the right mouse button. That's like a ranged attack, throwing like daggers or something. And um, my primary attack is just like melee, close quarter, dagger destruction so yeah putting the arrows in the barrels speaking with the quest giver complete it complete quest saving cranes bridge go okay so um you might uh, you, you may hear me fail at english <laughs> like i just did right there um and that's pretty much because i'm tired and because english isn't like my primary language i'm from denmark I speak Danish usually every day, so um, sorry for that. But I guess if you're going to watch this let's play, which I hope, I hope you can accept my grammatical errors, my um, constant um, and uh, stuff like that. So, undead soldier, you go down. Okay, on Q I have this attack called Paralyzing Strike. Just gonna try that out. KO that guy. One hit. Awesome. 
And just gonna run up to the request giver. Private little Fred. Hello okay, again. Thanks. You're Let's hurry. Good deal fiercer than when you washed up on the yeah. beach. <laughs> told you trying out by the fire would do you good. Okay. My mother always says. Oh, shut up. Thank you. So, well, should I just let you guys watch this? Okay. They're in trouble. We must go to their aid. And again, he's saying that without moving his lips, without moving his. No, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty mad skills, dodging those catapult shots. Dodging those arrows. Um, ranged attacks. Dodge. Oh my god, no more stamina. Okay. Cannot shift when your stamina is low. Okay, so they don't call it like dodging, they call it shifting. I don't care. Also, I'm not like the biggest MMO RPG guy. Uh, this is almost like the first MMO or RPG I've ever played, and um, it's actually pretty easy to uh, to learn. Uh, the difficulty isn't that high, isn't it's not that hard, and um, yeah, well, it's a game that everyone can partic participate in. If they just know like the basics of well playing with the keyboard and mouse. Um, and the graphics are actually pretty decent as well. Um, at least for an MMO RPG. Undead soldier. Well something you could also say. Um, Death block. Yeah. Cool. You're dead. Using that paralyzing strike. Level 4. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. Come on. Take all. What did I get right there? Two seconds. Engraved copper tanker. Okay. Yeah. Just like a treasure. Nothing you can really use. Moving forward. Okay, so I just activated my daily power, and it's more like mo more than it's like a daily power. It's like this power that charges up uh, as you kill enemies. So it's not like you can only use it once a day. You can only use it when you're when its energy bar is at its maximum. That dude is angry. And. Uh, Okay, so we have a new motherfucker. Uh, the ha harpinger. Okay, cool. Waters, undead soldier. Just gonna finish off those. Doing some range damage. He's failing. And doing a paralyzing strike. And the paralyzing strike is actually pretty decent. Uh, it can also paralyze like big enemies, bosses like this guy, um, which I think is pretty awesome, but it's also kind of overpowered. Maybe they should move it so it doesn't work on like the biggest enemies. I don't know. Well, not much of a channel. Ch channel? <laughs> Great. I meant challenge. Uh, talk to Wolfram. Should have been more cautious. Yeah. Hang on. You I'm sorry. <laughs> ah! Never winter. Okay, so I think this was like the first part of uh, the let's play. Now it should go to Protector's Enclave, the main city of the game. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. Um. Thanks for watching. Um, next episode will be with um, that unfun guy. And uh, I hope you stick around.
Uh, if you enjoyed, please leave a like. It really helps motivating me to make more videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.